So I have the mainspring wound up inside the tool with the T end sticking out. I take the barrel. I got the, there's a little hole in there you can see. And the uh, T end goes in that to hole. Let's see if I can get it in. Okay, I got it in the hole. So now I gotta, I'm gonna press it down like this. Now I just gotta pr press the plunger to release the spring, and hopefully it will stay in the hole. Let's see. Let's see if I was successful. Doesn't look good. Or is it in? No, oh, I got it in. Second try. So I got the T end. One end, you can see, sticking up there, the little, little point, and the other end is in the hole where it's supposed to be to turn the barrel round and round. Come on. This freaking thing doesn't want to focus. Will you focus? Thank you. Yeah, you see it's sticking in there, so it pulls the barrel when you wind it up. So then I got to uh, install the arbor. He's supposed to oil all this stuff up and, you know, grease it or whatever. I'm going to do that another day because I just want to get this video over with. I got my arrow with my barrel arbor and I have to stick it in. Let's see if it uh, cooperates when I put it in. You're cooperating today? Oh, I got it in. And I'm just going to rotate it till it uh, locks in. To the spring. Yeah, okay, that's... Let me put the hand here again. I don't know why... So you can see I installed the barrel arbor and... That's ready to go. And then they put the cover on. There's the cover. And the cover's got two cutouts, uh, one cutout here. Well, let's see, I'll show you the cutouts. I don't know if you can see them. They're opposite each other. One cutout for the screwdriver and the other cutout on this side for the mainspring T. So you just put it in place. Let's see, okay, I got it in there. And you gotta squeeze the cover back on. And then and go all the way around. I think I got it on. Okay, yeah, so the cover is flush. And you got uh, the pry hole and the hole for the T end, and you can see the little T end sticking out there. So, now we're going to see if we can get it all back together. Because I'm running out of time. Oof, I only got a few minutes left. So, well, let's see. I'll focus in. I was supposed to. Okay, I'll uh, put that back in. Oops, ah, upside down, my mistake. Put that in. I'm gonna put this back on. And this is where I ran into troubles last time because it wouldn't sit right. It's not sitting right now. I, uh, why doesn't it wanna go? Oh well. Yeah, typical. I think this thing, I don't know what the hell that is, but uh, that's in the way. Let's see if I can do it again. Come on. Maybe this is in the way. What the hell? Oh, try it again. I'm gonna do a third take on this video if I can't get this thing back together. There you go, almost. I think the uh, center wheel is lined up. Ah. Uh. 
Oh crap, it's hard to do this when I can't hold the thing. I'm gonna have to, uh, when I can't hold it up to my face, I can't see what's going on. Oh, I got it. I felt it go in. Yay. What am I doing wrong now? Okay. So let's see if I can do this before the time runs out. Damn it. So I got the, uh, I'm gonna put this on. This thing has a D. D shape. So I'm gonna line up the D. Let's line up the D. Almost there. What happens when you rush? I got the D and I gotta move the click out of the way. Move the click, come on. There you go, good, good. Okay, then I put the cover plate on here. And then I got the screw. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's going in, it's going in. Oh, what did I knock into? Okay, one screw here. Of course, it's not going to go in because I'm rushing. Another screw. Blech. And the third screw. Okay. I should have clamped this. Number two. And come on, number three. Third screw. I got all my screws in. So now I'm going to put it back in the uh, case. Yeah, this is my movement holder. It's very nice. So there it is. Ah, too much brightness. Anyway, so I'm now going to... Ouch, shouldn't have done that. Put it back in the case. Let's see if I can do that without much grief. Oops. Gotta stay within the uh, viewfinder. I'm gonna back it off. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in the case. Let's see. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. I like to do it like this, because I'm a righty. Oh, forgot to put the, uh, gotta put the dust shield back on. That's why people don't get watches with the dust shield, because you forget to put it on. What is that? This is in my way. So I'm gonna line up the dust shield. It's got a, uh, it's got a notch there for the winding stem. So I'm gonna... Put it back on. You gotta sort of press it down a little bit. I think I got it in. That's a little bit off. It's just a little bit off. Move it over with the screwdriver. Ugh, I moved it off. What a pain in the ass. Okay, now it's on, and it's still off-centered. Okay, oh, I think I got it. Close enough. I'll fix it later. I have to take this thing apart and oil it, and because it doesn't look too good when I when I took this spring off, I noticed. So I'm gonna case it back in. Hey, look, I think I got it on the first shot. Holy cow. Yeah, got it in the first shot. That's pretty impressive. Because this video has been a disaster. Got it in there. I'm going to press it so it stays in. Close the front 
I put the crystal back in in between takes. Let's see, turn it back up so I get this out of my way. Get the winder out of the way. So now I'm going to put the, uh, well, you can't see that because the light's on the other side. I get the case screws back in so I can wind it up. Of course they don't want to go in. They only go in when you don't need to, them to go in. An important thing. Oh god, I'm it. Let's see. That's one. My screwdriver is really not long enough. to be careful. I don't want to... movement's pretty clean. I don't want to scratch it up too much. I don't want to scratch it up at all. You're just being caught on camera good. Because I'm underneath the camera. I don't have to get it too tight because I can take it apart again. So I screwed it in. Hamilton's ball back together. Mainspring's in there. Well, I'm going to see if it... Uh, Let's see if it works. Oh, I can feel it. The click is going back. Let's see if I... Oh, balance is moving. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to take this thing apart again and clean and oil it because uh, this didn't look too good. I'll do that some other time. I'm going to do it now. I just did this Let's see if it goes all the way. Yeah, it's supposed to oil too and no grease. I'm gonna do that. After this thing runs down, that's what I'm gonna do with this watch. Take this one apart. I never took this one apart before. Well, I did when I took out the mainspring, but that was, you know, an hour or two ago. Wound it up all the way. And you can see it's running nicely. Bounce has got some good swing to it. So. That's how you do a mainspring, install a mainspring. Stuff with motor barrels, it's a little bit different because the uh, thing doesn't come apart as easy to barrel. There's something screwed to something else. So, that's, that's the way it works. It took me uh, three or four takes, but I did this video. I see second hands moving, and uh, I didn't screw up the hands when I had it on the movement holder. Oh man, this thing's a pain to get out. Why is it a pain? Maybe I'm just getting weaker. There you go. So my hands work. Everything's good. So that's how you do a mainspring. If you're going to change mainsprings, I advise you to get these tools. Because uh, pushing it in by hand is brutal. And you can bend the mainspring because it really doesn't want to go in that way. You know, it just, just doesn't want to go in that way. I put all this back so I don't lose it. So that's my Marshall. Thing's probably twice as old as me. And then my Viger for watches, lady wrist watches and lady watches. So that's that's today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a struggle for me.